What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope all of you guys are doing literally quite amazing. I really, really do hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome back to another video today, aka the vlog. Y'all know how it is, baby. I'm, we get into it, you know what I'm saying? But in today's video, we're gonna go over a bunch of things, talk about some things, you know, get some things done, and also have a insane chest and triceps workout. We're actually gonna really, really push ourselves for today's workout, um, even though we always really, really push ourselves, we're gonna do it today. Before we hop into any of that, guys, I do wanna discuss some things with you. As you guys do know, when I started this channel, I was making like just strictly bodybuilding content. And now the way it's kind of shifted is, I love the way it's shifted, right? I've shifted it into like a bodybuilding slash lifestyle slash, you know, just fun videos because that's what I love to do. I love making fun videos. I love making just whatever, you know, just whatever, right? I don't want to be, I don't want to be categorized into a certain niche, which if I am, it's cool or whatever, right? But I want to be outside of the, you know, I want to be able to do whatever I feel like is whatever I want, you know what I'm saying? I want you guys to know, like the next videos could be like a whole different subject from my other videos, you know what I mean? And so, uh, I definitely do enjoy doing the bodybuilding, but one thing has been like, I've been wanting to talk to you guys about with the bodybuilding is, I kind of, it's not that I've stopped bodybuilding, right? But I've definitely put it to the side for a while. And the reason that is, is because after my last uh, bodybuilding show, I did run into some digestive things that I just made me really like, I don't wanna say angry or upset, but definitely uh, frustrated with the fact that I was having these digestion problems and they came strictly from bodybuilding. So I'll just give it to you guys straight, right? So on my last bodybuilding show, whatever, I was on a extremely, extremely strict diet. You guys know this, just tuna, rice, mustard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Extremely, extremely strict diet. And so when I was on that, obviously my stomach adjusted to certain foods. Now, whatever, fast forward, the day after the show, I was literally chowing down everything in sight. Now, I should have been better with it and should have, you know, whatever, reverse dieted. And what that is, is you go back into your everyday foods uh, the way you came into your body, into your bodybuilding diet. So instead of just shoving my face, right, I'm going to whatever, one day have this, one day have two, one day have three, one day, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until my stomach's adjusted, my, you know, everything is back to where it needs to be. However, though, I didn't do that, obviously. I just jumped straight into the food, and with that, I did develop some digestion problems, and those digestion problems bit me in the butt cheeks, bro. And they made it extremely, extremely difficult to kind of do a show or to like, you know, even get in another prep because I wanted to make sure all the digestion was in check before fully getting into it. Now, I've been still in the gym. You guys know this. I've still been consistent with the gym, but in bodybuilding terms and in all bodybuilding technicality, until my digestion was back to where it needed to be, I didn't compete or you guys, you know, you would have seen it. So as of right now, right, you know, fast forward. Alhamdulillah, right? The digestion is back where I want it and it is great, alhamdulillah, right? There will be more bodybuilding content coming soon, obviously. However, though, I do love the fact that I'm kind of like an all around content kind of dude because to me that's way funner than just, you know, just bodybuilding and obviously, that's cool too, right? But I love the fact that I can do just so much more than that. You know what I'm saying? So we wanna try absolutely everything. You know what I mean? We wanna try every single thing. Why not? We wanna do it, so let's freaking do it. So that's just the update on the bodybuilding side of things. Now on the personal side of things, guys, yo, vlogging is super fun, bro. For real, for real, for real, guys, DM me or comment or whatever on certain vlogs you wanna see, on just certain critiques or whatever, anything, bro. Comment whatever you think should be in the videos, could be in the videos that would make the videos cooler or whatever. I'm a open book to all advice. Like, I really, really am. So, obviously, comment down below what you think we should be adding to the vlogs, what you love about the vlogs, etc., etc., etc. However, though, like I said, um, we still in the gym, right? We still getting the job done every day, day in, day out. Doesn't matter how we feel, we get the job done. Gym wise, business wise, everything wise, right? We no matter how we feel, we get the job done. Yo, and bro, with that to conclude that conversation, bro. Literally, yo, bro, don't be afraid to try new things, bro. Don't be afraid to try new things. All right, all right. 
If you want to try something new, try it. Whether it's golf, wrestling, modeling, tanning, going out with a girl, going out with that dude, going on a date, whatever, bro. Don't be afraid to try new things. It's what it's all about, trying something new. Yo, yo, eventually something sticks, bro. Eventually something sticks, right? This pen, that might not stick, but you know what might stick? Tape, you know what I'm saying? Tape might stick. And a little physique slash weight update. Right now I'm like at the 205, 210 mark. I'm like right there on those weights. Obviously, we're not bulking right now. We're trying to get absolutely shredded. We're not trying, we're gonna get shredded. So I'd like to be around the 200-ish mark just so, cause I, at that weight for me, the abs are visible and we have some striations. And like I said before, um, if, if we're at 180 though, that's when I'm absolutely diced, right? But I like at 200, still have great size along with great symmetry, great shreds, and great striations. So. That's where we're at right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the weight just to make sure. For today's workout session, we aren't training fasted. We are not training fasted, and that's because we're training later in the day. So I already got in two meals, two high protein, high carb meals. So the pump should be extremely, extremely full. Today we've got chest and triceps and pushing it to a new limit. It is mad chilly outside, bro. It's winter time, you know what I'm saying? So instead of what we're wearing, we got the gray shorts on, you know, short shorts. Instead, we're gonna go with some sweats. Uh, we're gonna keep the blue muscle tank on and we're just gonna throw a thick jacket over it because um, it's gonna be a dirty chest day. Will dirty. Yeah, I'm lifting the table, boy. The table coming to me. So let me put you on with some game. So we got our sweats right here. I learned this in wrestling, boys. So, you want to wear long socks with these, okay? So, you wanna wear long socks with these, and what I want y'all to do is literally grab them and tuck them in just like that. Now, this is a wrestler thing. That's where I learned it. If anybody else has it, that means they copy the wrestlers. Uh, <laughs> jokes. But this is a wrestler thing, and I just think it makes these sweats look way, way better. Obviously, bro, after you get it done, this just looks so, so much better than the, you know, sweats out and just covering up these socks. Since it is a bit chilly, Mike, we're gonna go with this wrestling sweater. It's nice and thick, keeps, the, keeps it warm, and, you know, the recipe to getting a delicious pump is a nice warmed up muscle. Woo! It's cold, boy! I be pulling up. Yo, I be pulling up in the gym. It be mad cold, yo. And I be pulling up in shorts. So we got to get some gas and some coffee. Um, we're not doing pre-workout for this workout. We're just gonna do some coffee because it's like, it's a late night, not late night, but it's like, you know, not an early morning workout, so if we do a pre-workout, bro. Dude, I used to take pre-workouts, and I kid you not, I kid you not, I'd be up till the next morning, bro, because I was new to pre-workout, so your boy was on that pui pui. And so, lesson learned, right? But right now, we're just gonna get a large coffee, and that, that right there, I mean, it, it's, again, it's not, a, it's not like a pre-workout energy drink, but it'll definitely do the job to get us for this freaking chest and try day. Cool fi, cool fi mate. So we got the coffee, we got the gas, alhamdulillah boys. Now we are ready to get to the gym. Yo, quick shout out to everybody that watches the boy, whether you watch me just cause you enjoy my content, or you watch me for the gym advice or whatever, bro. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I always, you guys know, I always want to shout you guys out because it makes it that much funner. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to put you on with some game about building habits and how to build and how to keep them. You know what I mean? Because keeping habits is what the goal is, obviously, right? Obviously, better, healthier habits to make us better and healthier. So, so one big thing is number one. It's not how many how many days to form a habit, it's more so how many times we're doing the thing we want to become a habit, right? So the reason I'm saying that is because some, some things will say, oh, it's 21 days to build a habit. No, 
It's not 21 days to build a habit. It's how many times you do that certain thing until it becomes a habit. And everybody's different, right? Some, some may take five times to do it, it becomes a habit. Some may take a hundred times to do it and it becomes a habit. So tip number one is it's not how many days to, for it to become a habit. It's how many times you do it for it to become a habit, okay? And then tip number two, in order to get something done, there needs to be an emotional tie to it. So since we are emotional creatures, we're emotional animals, you have to have emotion behind the habit you want to create, right? So if, if you want to build a habit of going to the gym, right, you need to let yourself know that the reason you're going is because you have an emotional tie to gaining muscle or you have an emotional tie to losing weight, right? We have to connect our emotions with our want-to-be habits. That's extremely, extremely important. So whatever habit you want to create, right, let yourself know that you want to do this because of this emotion, right? And then tip number three is the best way to get something done is when we have something scheduled out, okay? So for example, I'm going to go to the gym after breakfast. I'm going to go to the gym right after work. Um, you're giving the, the, the want to be habit a time to happen. So when it's on your schedule, bro, you have time for it, right? So, cause when we have time for something, we get it done. So number one, it's not about how many days, it's about how many times you repeat the action for it to become a habit. Number two, we are emotional creatures, bro, by heart. So have an emotional reason or create an emotional tie with the want to be habit you're creating and then number three put it on a schedule i am going to go to the this is an example i'm going to go to the gym after work right you've given yourself a time to do it so you will get it done so those three tips are humongous y'all on building healthier habits like I said, for today's workout, we are gonna create a new standard for chest day, baby. We're gonna really push the limit to a new limit. And then with that, y'all, I'm gonna do some, like not full whatever posing, but I'm gonna do every single like classic physique slash bodybuilding pose to see, just to like get an update on how it's updated and how it's going and how it looks because I feel like we've made humongous progress. So I'm really, really excited to do that because obviously on a stage, on it's more than just, you know, front double, back double abs, right? It's front, both quarter turns, back, front double, back double, uh, abs and thighs, side chest, side tricep, uh, most muscular. So we're gonna do all of those and see how the physique's looking, but bro, Go! We're starting out with cable straight bar push downs. All right, so boom, here we go. Up. Ooh. Straight down, Mike. Straight down. Ooh. Good, 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 good. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. We're going pretty heavy on this today. And that's because why not? If it's good form, then we can do it. Ooh. One, two, three, up, up, Woo! That's a set. Like I said, if the form is good, go heavier, bro. If your form is perfect on heavier weights, go heavier. Push yourselves, Mike. Next, we're moving on to Smith machine incline press. Now you can either do it Smith machine or a free bench, but when the gym is super, super packed, bro, you gotta improvise. I don't normally use a Smith machine, but it's literally an amazing alternative for the regular bench press, and it's honestly safer. So, uh, so I use both the Smith and the free. Now, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get a little awkward. Yo, bro, how much more sets you got? How much more sets you got? It's cool to ask that, I mean, it is. But improvising works just as great, baby. Now we got 45s on each side, 25, 10, 10. Don't judge me. I'm about to show you how it's done. Lightweight equals hard work. All the time. All right. Let's go. Ugh, come on. All right. We're trying to grow anyway, so it doesn't matter. As long as we're hitting the muscle correctly. Ooh, one. Ooh, two. All right, let's go. I think y'all can hear me a bit better now. Uh, one, two, three. Now, when we're doing these, I don't want you coming all the way down to your chest because that pulls on your shoulders. 
about 90 or a little bit past it, and right back up like a freaking champion. Urgh. Come on. Urgh. 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 Nice, more, more. We got more to give. Up. Oh. Even these hard reps, bros. Even these hard reps, gentlemen, ladies and gents, check the form. Boom. Boom. Ah. Woo. Good. Good. All right, all right. Let's see what this pump is giving us after a few exercises. I'm thinking it should be really, really good, but, you know, the pump will tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, shaboosh. All right, all right, the chest is pumping, but honestly, I know I know we can dig for more. This is only two exercises in, but like I said, looking super vascular and shredded. However, though, we're going for gold, and we're about to push harder. We can get a better pump. We can achieve more. We can achieve more. So we're throwing five. We threw on five more pounds, so we're at 50 pounds per side. And again, it's not always about the weight. When the intensity's there, bro, you're shaking mountains. You understand, Mike? Now let's get it, boys. All right. Boom. Incline is the best climb. What? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta dig deep. You gotta dig deep here, gentlemen. You know why you're coming to the gym. You know why. To become a Freaking champion. Come on, this is where the champions are made. When it hurts. Uh, when. Uh, when. Uh, these are the few reps that make the difference. Uh, Oh my gosh, I, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I did sacrifice for him a little bit on that last rep. So we're gonna do one more just to make it even. Boom, that was freaking money. We achieved greatness with that set. Next on to cable rope push downs. Really going for it, baby. Champion mentality right now, let's go. Let's go, let's go. This is where, you, this is where the difference comes in, all right? How the, the, the work you find to do is correlated directly to how much you freaking care. Come on. Mm, boom. I don't care how good this lighting is, right? You're looking at that, baby. Let's go. We're pushing these triceps. Uh, nice. Good form. No shaky, shaky. Eggs and bakey. Just straight up stoned. Just straight. Perfect form right there. Squeeze. Uh, surprise yourself, y'all, with good, squeezed, uh, efficient. Uh, Reps. More. More. Uh, come on. Uh, 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 squeeze. Uh, squeeze. Uh, woo. That's what I'm talking about, Mike. Now the pump's getting better. That's the pump I was talking about. On to our next chest exercise we're doing incline dumbbell press let's go Oppa. we're rocking some 65s all right Up. nice Ooh. boom two three four five six let's go let's go aim for gold good repetitions here perfect form if the form is great so is the weight let's go ah, ah come on Push yourself, watch out for injuries, but push yourself every time. I can see it through the frickin' muscle shirt. Quick burst of motivation. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm swinging, eh? Uh, quick burst of motivation. You are the most important project you'll ever work on. Remember that, so you are the most important project you ever work on. So aim for an A plus, bro. Aim for an A plus, all right? Next, we're moving on to uh, overhead dumbbell press, okay? So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna grab our dumbbells, 
boom, just like this. We're gonna come to a 90 degree angle on our elbows, just like that. Press up, just like that. Uh, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice. Come on, perfect. This is a mass grower exercise right here. What I mean by that is you're pushing weight and just exercising that tricep to learn to grow bigger and handle more weight. Ah, nice. Whew. Whew, let's see. Oh boy. They popping, y'all. They popping, my boys. <laughs> Gym's so packed, we, we doing push-ups at the, at the squat rack, baby, but that's amazing because that means everybody's in here to get better. Anyway, uh, now we're gonna do some push-ups, some body weight push-ups. I'm, I'm always exaggerating about how good they are for you and how much of a chest grower they are. And you need to build that self muscle, you know what I mean? So I wanna beat my record, right? So my, re my record right now is roughly like, I think 50, 55 um, straight. So now I want 60, I wanna set a new record. So that is the goal right now. We're gonna, we're gonna beat that goal right now, okay? So let's get it, 60 straight. 60 straight, baby, let's go. All right, just so I'm not cheating. Let's go. Up, 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 come on. All right, that's one. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, halfway baby, halfway, come on, 30 goodies, 40, 40, let's go, 50, come on, 50, 50, let's go, come on. That was 60 straight, baby. New record, new freaking record. And these push-ups, bro, they be pumping up the pump, you know what I'm saying? However, we're going for 150 push-ups as exercise number three. If you ever wanna finish your exercise or even start it with a bang, um, do some push-ups, bro. And obviously, they build up, right? So whatever your limit is, keep doing it every chest day. You'll be above and beyond in no time. All right, let's go. We just busted out 60. Come on. We change up the grip a little bit. So let's get into this freaking posing, bro. I'm excited. Can you go? Oh, let's go. All right. So what I genuinely, genuinely love about posing is it does show like everything you've worked hard for in the gym, right? Like your biceps, your triceps, everything. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first pose you do on the stage. This is like this front. Then we're gonna do our quarter turn, which shows, you know, the chest and the arms and things like that. And it's a really good look, right? So you start with that, then you go into the quarter pose, then you show your back, which, hey, we getting thick, baby. We getting thick. We need to get thicker though. Then into the next quarter turn, just like that. I like this quarter turn more than the other one. Uh, I feel like it shows much, much more. And then we're gonna get into the mandatory. So boom, we're back into the front pose. Now let's hit the front double bicep. So I like to add the vacuum to it. I think it's a really, really good addition. It, it makes my waist look smaller. My, my shoulders look much, much bigger. So I really, really like the vacuum, but I can do both. And now let's get into the side chest. I like to show the back a little bit and then oh, boom, baby. Right there, I love this pose. This is literally one of my favorite, favorite poses. So side chest is looking real, real good. Obviously there's always room for improvement, so we need to improve. On to the side tricep. I like to show the abs on this as well, um, but the side tricep is looking great. And then we're gonna move on to our back double bicep. So although I'm wearing shorts, you flex the hams and then the back. And shaboom, baby! Back is flexing. Uh, I do have a lot of work to do on my back. However, though, progress is coming, baby. And we're working really, really hard with our back. So I'm very, very proud of it. 
and then we got our abs and thighs. So right now I'm at 210 with these abs. Um, at 180, I'm sure it'd be absolutely shredded. You know what I'm saying, Mike? Now I'm going to do some free posing. Boom, the arrow. I absolutely love, love, love this pose into the Arnold back pose. I'm trying to master this one and I will master it. And then, whoa, 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 we're gonna take that into a side chest, baby. I love it. And now I'm just doing some of my favorite poses, y'all, because again, posing is just super fun. I always recommend that you try it. Don't be nervous. Just take it step by step, learn, and then become a master, baby. Let's go. Fidella, one workout, zero. We dominated that workout, baby. Absolutely dominated. And the posing was super fun, you know what I'm saying? We've definitely, definitely, definitely made a ton of progress in all of the poses. Or it might be a bit it'll stay, but nothing practice won't fix my practice makes. Perfect. However, though, that was a amazing workout, alhamdulillah. We really, really pushed ourselves to a new limit today, bro, and that's no joke. So post-workout meal, we've got a hefty one. Check out the Lambie. Anyways, uh, so we've got literally, this is a big bowl, as you can see, and it's filled head to toe with Mediterranean food. So this is rice with kebab. As you can see, this right here is a kebab. Uh, it's just beef on a stick, y'all. Then we've got a entire onion, bro, with a salad on the side. So we've got that with some bread on the side. I told you, y'all, I was squeezing the macros in, in a few meals, bro. If we can finish this, I'm gonna try to chug as much down as possible. We need those carbs, baby, so let's get to smacking. First bite is the best bite, bismillah. That was absolutely delicious, alhamdulillah. That was probably like, um, that was probably like 50 to 60 grams of protein, 150 grams of carbs, and the fats were up there because that was a straight restaurant kebabs, and you know, they use that 50 50 meat, you know what I'm saying? 50 50, 50% 50 meat, 50% fat. So that was really up there in fats, but like I said, alhamdulillah, delicious, delicious meal. However, though, ladies and gentlemen, the weight, I did get the weight update. It's roughly 208 right now. Uh, 208 pushing 210. So, gotta start amping up the cardio, baby, so we can get absolutely lean, baby. But that is it for today's video, slash vlog, slash YouTube, slash LOL. For today's video, guys, I really, really do hope you did enjoy it. If you're new here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're old here. Give me a thumbs up, bro. You know I genuinely appreciate it. And quote of the video, we said it earlier and we're gonna say it again. You are the most important project you will ever work on. So aim for an A+. See you guys in the next video. Peace.